Hello everyone, this is Scabcat242 and here's my review on the Disney Store exclusive Marvel Select Black Widow figure. Well, this was a figure I had been wanting to get for a while, but just due to just the price and just my whole time, I just really was not interested in getting it at the time, but um, I was lucky enough to get this on clearance, as you can see here in the sale price. Uh, this was regularly $22.50. Marked down to $9.99, so that's an awesome discount. So, just get another quick look at the box here. Um, got, oh, knocked it over. Got this really nice um, display right here with the box. And yeah, so really cool to get this figure. Um, let's take a look at her. Now, as you can see here, she comes with this little display base, which I'll talk briefly about. Um, kind of neat. Looks like there's some Ultron parts attached to this. And then there's a little Ant-Man attachment, which if I get back on there... Yeah, so yeah, there's a little Ant-Man in the background. But I thought this would serve as a base, but it's kind of more of a diorama piece because like there are no uh, pegs for the figure. But let's get to Black Widow. Now, she is a really great looking figure. Um, really, really, really top notch. Um, excellent paint on the face. Uh, but nice if her suit was black as opposed to this purple color they went with, but it's pretty good. Um, it's go for all pretty good articulation, you know, ball hinged elbows, not elbow, shoulders, and there's the elbows, wrist, okay, and legs, double jointed knees, ankle articulation. The only drawback is her waist articulation is a little bit hindered. I don't know if it's just stiff or it's just that's as much as it goes. And her head does not move that much at all. Well, mostly because of her hair. Because if it was a tad bit shorter or if it was posed a different way, it's really hindering her movement. But um, other than that, I think she's a really good solid figure. Um, the only downside is she does not have any weapon accessories. Now, for Black Widow, I mean, yeah, she does know her martial arts and she's good at hand-to-hand -hand combat, but she's a good marksman, but she has no guns. Um, thankfully, I had a problem for that. For me, I have various guns for other action figures, so I just took one of these pistols that I have and just put it in her hands. Now, I don't know why she didn't have any guns. I guess it was just a cost issue, I guess, but it works out. So, other than that, I think she is a really great looking figure. Um, definitely worth getting uh, for your Marvel Select collection. And if you find her on discount, I definitely recommend picking her up. She's well worth, I think, the discounted 99 price. So, here you are.